Closed your visor in the water to stop the water going in. <laughs> yeah. But the safety crews were there very, very quickly. So yeah, they were really good, very, very fast. And at one point, I just thought that maybe nobody saw me, and Joe actually went without me. Oh my God, I'm going to be left alone here. I literally sneaked out of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> so it hasn't put you off, though. No, no, absolutely no. Now you're going to have more confidence. Yeah, we're going to do the second race again, and um, I've just asked her to just be. Nick and Baz, tough day out of the water. It was tough, yeah, in the end, flipping especially. And quite a spectacular style, I, uh, I hear. Yeah, it was lovely. If you don't flip a boat, you're not trying hard enough. And whose fault was it then, Nick? Got to be the drivers. Not, not able to cope with the conditions? Yeah, I would have thought so. I heard he's losing all his uh, strength now, he's becoming a weak boy. No, it's always the co-pilot's fault, never the driver's fault. Everything's a co-pilot's fault. 
Rob and Darren, boat number 22, Microlink Ammo T. Congratulations, guys, once again, first. What was it like out there? Yeah, it was a tough, it's been a tough weekend. Um, we were quite apprehensive coming into this weekend, as it's uh, quite close between us and Microlink 61. Uh, there were two points in front of us coming into this weekend. The objective was to try and get in front of them, and uh, we managed to do it. It's, it's been two tough days, but uh, we've positively dominated, and uh, yeah, it's looking good. Darren, circuit racing, 30 minutes on the water, what was it like? I think being a heavier crew, uh, the rough conditions suited us better. Um, board set up is right, so it all worked out. And how are you feeling after that tough old day? Uh, I can do another 20 laps, no problem at all. Simon, boat 51 and Andy, boat 55. Oh, I believe uh, somebody put a complaint in. Um, yeah, well, we just have fun in, in the start. Uh, unfortunately, you... you, you uh, it's, it's, for the it's just one really. of those things. And so. it's really difficult to keep your line when you're you're all aiming for the same boy and it's such a long way away. And keeping it's just yeah. it's I'm, a novice I'm I'm a reasonable novice so I'm I'm learning. And, and uh, I've got to learn from my mistakes. And the conditions don't help either. You know, it's choppy, boats are, you know, one minute they want to go one way, then they want to go the next. Yeah, anyway, it's part of racing. But again, all love in the pits again. Oh yeah, always. Yeah, always. always. <laughs> what do you think, Charlie? Who's gonna win at uh, the next event? Probably Michaeling. Yeah. Michaeling, what about this fella here? I'm still learning, aren't I? Yeah. He's letting me off. <laughs> he gets a bit upset, he's a bit worried I hurt himself. And have they got you working in the pits? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What do you do, props? What do you do, props? Oil? Yeah. Uh, I play with a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Wise boy. What? Congratulations, boys. Ninth overall, how's it feel? <laughs> it was right. third, it was third, it was third. How did you get on? I was going to say, hang on a second. Yeah, I thought we did better than that. No, I'm really, really happy with third. Um, it was uh, it was a pretty pretty rough day. Uh, it started out really calm, you know, landed up being a bit of a washing machine by the end of it. But um, yeah, we're, we're ecstatic with third. Um, you know, it's a brand new boat. We're essentially a new team together. And um, yeah, we're, we're really happy with that. So. Okay, so tell me about the new boat. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. Um, it's a Mark V now. Um, Grant Harrison's been doing a lot of work um, over in South Africa with, with the boats. Um, it's really, really sensitive. Tiny, tiny little movements on the boat and you, you're all over the place. But no, it's really, really good, really, really steady uh, and bloody quick, really, really quick. Predictions for the rest of the year? Well, we've got Watergate to go. It's kind of my home turf, surf. I'm hoping for the big surf. Um, Jimmy's not been in it before, but we'll do some training, we'll do some practice. I've pretty much told him and imparted as much knowledge as I can. We just got to get out there. But um, yeah, I'm confident we can we can be on the podium on that one. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. As I say, you know, said before, surf's my kind of my thing. Um, it's a bit of a leveler between you know the boats. It doesn't really matter too much about the boats. So it matters about you know kind of who's got the biggest minerals and, and who can really drive through the surf. So, um, yeah, I'm confident we can do really, really well on that one. And, uh, yeah, Jimmy's brave, so yeah. we'll be all right, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Danielle, OOD, and her father, Richard, who is rescue officer. Good day here at Clevedon. Wonderful day here at Clevedon. Thrills and spills, great racing. We fitted everything in. Conditions were good, bit choppy, bit for everybody. Fantastic stuff. And what about this as a venue? Would you come here again? Absolutely. Can't wait to get here next year. I think the uh, if you look at it, it's like a perfect little town just built for us, really. You've got a fantastic venue. Look at the site that you've got out there. You've got the pier. It's fantastic racing. The people are wonderful. The sailing club's been great to us. Can't wait to come back. And uh, some crowds out there today as well. Excellent. Excellent turnout. And I hope we put on a good show for them because we're looking forward to coming back next year.